Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy IX Ultimate War Through, and this is gonna be the final episode as this is now the final battle of Final Fantasy IX. We are here at the crystal right now, and we are I think our first encounter is I think it's Transcuja, if I'm not mistaken. Um, let's save. Okay, here we go. Right into the portal. Yep, Transcuja. Kuja! Nice of you to come. I'm surprised you beat the four chaoses that I created from the crystal's memory. But you were too late. Take a good look. Isn't it beautiful? It's the original crystal. This is where it all began. The birthplace of all things. Once I destroy it, everything will be gone. Gaia, Terra, the universe, everything. Your lives and memories too, of course. <laughs> Shut up. The only other thing that's gonna be gone is you. I'll take you out right now. Hmm, you honestly think you can beat me? Even if you do, Gaia's already doomed. Its assimilation by Terra has begun. And the Eiffel tree will incite a cataclysmic destruction of Gaia. It's all over for you and your friends. See, I win either way. It doesn't matter. Even if Gaia is assimilated, the planet will remain and will start over to make a new home. Kuja, you're nothing but a coward. If you're gonna die, leave us out of it. Why should the world exist without me? That wouldn't be fair. If I die, we all die. Is it on you? You'll be my first sacrifice. Okay, this will be a really quick battle because we are overpowered as hell. We're gonna use Dragon Crest with Freya as usual to do max damage. Um, oh, I hope I still have Steiner in my party. Hopefully I didn't take- Yes! Steiner should do max damage. It's a Dawn, I'm not sure about. Oh, this is not Transcuja yet. This is uh, Death Guys, that's right, okay. I am not gonna steal anything at this point, I don't really care anymore. So I'm gonna use Dragon Crest, uh, Shock, and with Eiko, I, I don't think Eiko has Berserk. Eiko does not have Berserk, we're just gonna cast Might on Zidane, because I'm not sure if he hits 9,000 on No, he needs a little bit more attack power. So we'll cast Might, and then we'll try this again. Dragon Crush should hit max damage. Uh, Shock, I think, hits max damage. Steiner and Freya are our strongest characters in the game. Uh, we'll go again, Shock. I think Zadon might be able to hit max damage with, with Might now, maybe. If not, we'll cast another Might on him. Counter attack, baby! Ah, he's not hitting max damage. De Counter attack, baby! <laughs> yeah! Awesome! Dragon's Crest. And max damage. Is it dead? How did they beat Death Guy? Oh, already dead. Do you really think you can beat me? Already dead, huh? Alright, come on. Who's next? What? Come on. Separate up. Let's just get this over with right now. Hi, Transkuja, you're next, buddy. I can't believe you beat Death Guys. Well, my time is almost up. Time to die, everyone. There we go. And this is Kudra's, uh, pretty cool theme. I like his, uh, theme. The final battle theme for Transkuja. Okay, attack, uh, sword art with, uh, shock, dragon crest, and Kiraga. That's it. Bam, 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 bam. You dead. Shock, max damage. Your turn, Freya. Do, 
This is my usual team here. Steiner, Freya, Zidane, and Echo. Actually, I kind of wish I could remove Zidane for, for Quina. Because for Quina's frog drop does max damage as well, since I have 99 frogs. But, uh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Let's cast uh, Might on Zidane. Attack. Oh. Shock! 9,909 damage, and Freya's Dragon Cr No, first start. How did he get to go before me? Eh, uh, whatever. Is that a counter attack? Maybe I should heal. Oh, shit, no! Okay. Is it on? It's up to you to finish him off. Come on. And Steiner will finish him off then. Go ahead, Steiner, finish him off. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna die anyway. I won't have to be afraid anymore. But I'm not gonna die alone. You are all coming with- Is he gonna cast Ultima again? Why does it sound like freaking F Final Fantasy 7? What happened to the crystal? Where is this? Who, who are you? My fear is death, but mine is only to die. It's dark with anxiety. Anxiety becomes fear. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. The only cure for this fear is total destruction. Kucha was the victim of his own fear. He concluded that he would only save himself and destroy the origin of all things. The crystal. What the heck are you talking about? Why are you telling me all this? Kucha's action proved it. All things left to perish. At last, life has uncovered its truth. Now it is time to end this world. What, what do you mean by that? I exist for one purpose. To return everything back to the zero world. Where there is no life and no crystal to give life. In a world where nothing fear does not exist. This is the world that all life desires. Who the hell do you think you are? You are not any anything, never. Not as long as we have the will to live. Foolish creature, your fears have already been defeated. One day you will choose the destruction of your own existence as Kuja. When you saw his drug crystal, the purpose of life ended. Now, come! And it is your world that you desire. No! We will destroy you and prove you wrong. And through our memories, future generations will see that we can overcome any fear. Can't give up now. We have to fight together. Even if we lose, it doesn't matter. Our memories will live in, on inside others. So, even if we were born to die, I'm not afraid. I'm gonna live. Don't screw up. I'm sorry I couldn't do anything. Good luck. Come back after you kill bad guy. I prepare big meal for everyone. <laughs> Oh, 
please accept my powers. Yes, 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 we're ready. Let's go. We've come too far to lose now. Let's just wrap this up and go home. All of us. Alright, final battle. Here we go. Necron. Right? You ready to get your ass kicked by the boy? Let's start with shock. Dragon Crest. Attack. White Mage. Uh, Might on you know. Aha, you miss, suck ass bitch. 9,999 damage. What? It didn't hit max up. Maybe I should dispel it. What the hell is protecting them? Is he a protect gun? Okay, okay, okay. Dragon Crest will fuck you up. No doubt, no doubt. Ha! Ha! That's max damage. You can't escape that Dragon Crest. Better boy. Necron, you are weak. I ain't gonna disable you, Necron. Oh no, I can't. Uh, Necron, you are weak. Oh my god. Let me disable him, please. There we go, disable. Dispel, whatever it's called. Grand Cross? What the fuck is this? Supernova? Sephiroth version 2.0? Oh no! She's petrified. That's so cute. Uh, Eichel's my only dispeller too. Neutron ring. What's that gonna do? <laughs> that music. <laughs> Dragon Crest. Okay, I think he's dead. If not, I will. He will be dead once I kill him. Spell his ass. But she's petrified right now. Oh, he might die after this one. If not, then Shock will kill him. I mean, Dragon Crest, I mean. Are you dead? What the fuck? The hell is this? Is the blood to get that powerful? There 
is always Necron. Are you alright? Yeah, but look what uh, was happening. So what Kuja said was true, the effort is beginning its violent reaction. What's gonna happen? I don't know, but it doesn't look good. I doubt anyone could have survived that explosion. No. Captain. They are still alive. What? Where are they? Over there. The healed guard is probably closer. You, the tall one. Sir. Again, Pudo Knight 8, ma'am. I didn't ask for your name. Contact the healed guard right away. Yes, sir, ma'am, sir. What the hell? Please be alive. Sire, we are receiving a transmission from the Red Rose. Punch it up on the main line. This is the Red Rose. You are not General Beatrix, who are you? My name is Mikoto. Everyone is alive. You are very close to them. What? How do you know? I can't hear him. Who? Prepare to land immediately. That's the Hildegard 3. Looks like Sid came to the rescue. Sid! Thank heavens you're all safe. Come quickly, we don't have much time. Farewell, Zadorn. Ah, damn it. What's wrong? Why don't you go on ahead? I'll catch up with you all later. I have to take care of something. What? He's still alive. He can't be. Zadorn, what are you doing? Steiner, take care of Garnet. What? W what do you mean by that? Kuja's still alive. I can't just leave him. This is ludicrous. Just because you two are from the same planet doesn't mean- No, that's not the reason. Come on, Zidane. Why are you doing this? Because. Because I might have done the same thing if I were in his shoes. I probably would have fought against you guys and wrecked ha Havok and Gaia like he did. I know it sounds crazy, but I know deep down inside I have to do this. You're not crazy, Zidane, but you go help Kuja, not good idea. It's too dangerous. I can't just leave him. There's no way I could have lived with myself. I'm going. You are making a big mistake. Maybe, but we all have to make big decisions in life sometimes. For me, now's that time. I have to face up to it just like BB did when he confronted his fears to find out about himself. That was the big decision for BB. I don't know about that. I don't think it was really a big deal. That's what you think, but I might not be doing this if it weren't for you. You've definitely taught me to take life more seriously. Well, you're obviously not going to change your mind. So I'm coming with you. The principle of knighthood requires that one assist his comrade in times of need. I shall accompany you as well. Whoa, wait a minute. Like I said, it's my moment, so don't butt in. You guys will have your own someday. Besides, you guys have more important things to worry about, like Bermisia and Alexandria. For once in your life, why can't you be honest? Sorry, but I can't- I can't just walk away. It goes against my nature. You are a real simpleton. 
Forget it, guys. There's no stopping this fool. What are you still doing out here? Get on board right now! Come on. Let's just leave and get out of here. That guy will never change. Alright, you heard the man. Get out of here before it's too late. Sit down, I love you. You better come back. Sit down, I need to eat more different food. I'm still hungry. You need to come back, take me more places, show me more food. I still can't believe you're doing this. You've changed, Sidon. Till we meet again. Sidon, you've taught me another big lesson in life. Thanks. Sidon. Princess, we must go. <clears throat> Garnet, I mean... Your Highness, the abduction is over. I can't take you any further. I'm sorry for being so selfish. No, you are not being selfish. You've done so much for us. If it weren't for you, I probably would have led a meaningless life. With you, I was able to see so much of the world and meet so many people. We faced many hardships too. But I think I finally know what's important. I'm so fortunate to have met you. I'll never forget our trip together. Thank you, Zidane. Promise me one thing. Please come back. Kuja, can you hear me? I'm coming to get you. You still have time. Forget about me and go. Just shut up and stay where you are. I don't understand. Okay, here goes nothing. Phew, still alive. I guess that was pretty crazy. Hey, are you alright? Sit on. doing here? I thought I told you to go. Oh, uh, 
wouldn't you do the same for me if you knew I was dying? Never mind. Your comrades were able to escape? Yeah, I knew you had something to do with it. I'm glad they made it. Yeah, well, it's our turn to get moving. I don't deserve to live after all that I've done. I'm useless to this world. No one's useless. You helped us escape, remember? After you guys beat me, I had nothing left. Nothing more to lose. Then, I finally realized what it means to live. I guess I was too late. Hey, don't you go die on me, all right? Kuja. What you did was wrong. But you gave us all one thing. Hope. We were all created for the wrong reason. But you alone defied our fate. We do not want to forget this. We want your memory to live on forever. To remind us that we were not created for the wrong reason, that our life has meaning. So, this is Alexandria. Pick up the pace, will ya? I don't believe it, Vivi. Vivi? How do you know that name? What are you talking about? It's me, Puck. How can you forget me? Puck? You know Puck? The, the Prince of Bramicia? Oh, come on. Oh, come on, what's wrong with you? If you're not Vivi, then who are you? I'm... Vivi's son. Oh, the hell? Oh my god, this is like FF7 Red 13 all over again. With his puppies. <laughs> I always talked about you, Zidane, how you were a very special person to us because you taught us all how important life is. Freya, you're leaving so soon, are you not? Yes, I can hardly wait to see everyone. Alexandria, I went there many years ago. How long will it take to rebuild Bramicia? I don't care, as long as I'm with you. I love you, Freya. Yet he still doesn't remember her past. It's hard to, to know who's talking because it doesn't show. I just want to cherish her thing right now. It taught me that life doesn't last forever. That's why we have to help each other and live life to the fullest. It's time to say goodbye to this room. Save the queen, you have served me well. My duty is finished here. Farewell, Alexandria.
Even if you say goodbye, you'll always be in our hearts, so I know we are not alone anymore. Why do you go to Alexandria? You are not going? I, I never said that. Hey, hey, wait. Why was I bored? How I wanted to live. Thanks for giving me time to think. Good food, not only delicious. Good food made with heart. Very, this is very important when cooking for friends. Hurry, hurry! We gotta get there before the play begins. Haha, <laughs> there's no need to hurry. The theater ship is no match for my new ship. My new Hildegard is the fast ship ever. Do I have to remind you? You said the same thing about the theater ship. <clears throat> That's what you said, father. Michael, what did you just call me? Darling, she called you father. Father, mother, hurry! What the? Say it again, I go. <laughs> what the hell? Beatrix, where are you going? Please don't ask, my mind is already set. Wait, listen to me. I, uh, I never wish to lose you again. Steiner, let us protect the queen together. Alright, yes. Alright. <clears throat> Been a long time since we saw Alexandria. Let's give them a show they won't forget. Yeehaw! Break a leg, people. My memories will be part of the sky. ship will arrive any minute. It's been so long. I can't wait to see everyone. But it'll never be the same. I have to let go of the past. I have to let go of the past. I have to move on just like he taught me. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's performance is a story that takes place long, long ago. Our heroine, Princess Cornelia, is torn from her mother, Marcus. She attempts to flee the castle, only to be captured by her father, King Leo. Tonight's story begins when Marcus and Cornelia decide to run away together. 
And now, your royal majesty, Queen Garnet, Lord Steiner, Lady Beatrix, noble ladies and lords, and our rooftop viewers, Tentalus proudly presents, I want to be your canary. Marcus. Sweet Marcus, I feel I love thee more than I should. Princess, wilt thou be happy married to a lovely peasant such as I? For these, call me princess no more! Marcus, wilt thou truly cherish me, the king's only daughter? Or is such a desire too dear to wish for? After our new shall I become no more than a puppet? A minus puppet, never laugh, never to laugh, never to cry. I wish to live my life under the sky. At times I shall laugh, at other times cry. For no laugh is more is more insincere. Ah, oh, god damn it! So much consideration thou hast given, and oh my god, it, cast away the trappings of royalty, and I shall swaddle thee in a um. Never again will I part from the. It keeps going. It keeps auto doing it. So, uh, pray, my lord, make the canary to keep forever in the cake. Let us embark on our first ship tomorrow before dawn. Oh my god. All my fortunes. Oh my god. It goes way too fast. I give up. <laughs> I give up. It keeps auto doing it way too fast. I don't know why it's auto texting for. Give me time to read it. God damn. <sighs> well, this sucks. I can't even read. It goes way too fast. Good day to ye, Highness. Good day. What's the of uh, Marcus? Marcus, what news dost thou bring? This. Oh. <laughs> what? The time for our departure is long past. Where is Cornelia? Marcus, the ship soon embarks. Board ye this boat alone, and peace could come to both kingdoms, as Blanc so said. Speak, Marcus. She told me that she could not live without me. So, the sun is our enemy, too. The eastern sky grows bright. Will we not spread our wings as yonder birds in joyous flight? Hark, Marcus, they cannot wait any longer. The ship departs. Could she have betrayed me? Nay, near would my love speak false. I must have faith. She shall appear if I only believe. As the sun lends me no ear, I pray instead to the twin. Oh, fuck. I beseech thee, wondrous moonlight, grant me my only wish. Bring my beloved Garnet to me. Finally.